proud of us, Maxwell. Mm -hmm. We have built something really beautiful together. And now we can live our life in our own terms, mm -hmm. away from everyone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you have to drink my first. <laughs> um, Vera, hmm? I sent for you because I've given you numerous chances, but your incompetence is pushing me to my limits. You are no longer welcome here. Yes, I will get a fertile lady that my son will marry. Mama, I've been trying. I've really been trying. I love Maxwell and I love you. But why can't we find a common ground? Common grounds? The only common ground I see here is that you are trying to ruin my son's life. No, 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 Mama, no. Yes! I need a grandchild. You are no longer welcome in this house. Get out of my house. Look, Maxwell. This is the time you need to do what I say. Look, 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 Mama, look, Mama. You don't have to tell her to get out. I don't talk to her in that manner. See, Mama, you should understand that children are gifts from God. Maxwell is preaching to me. You are just like your father. Mama. You weakling. Touch me. Get me out of here. Your mother asked me to live like that. What wrong did I do? Look, babe, this is not your fault, but my mother's. You know, sometimes she can be difficult, but I can't believe she's too blown like that. And you stood there without doing anything or saying anything. What do you have me do? Beat her up? That's why you're my husband. You're supposed to say something or do something. Why will you start acting like a man and not a child? Hey, stop, stop it. Look, I am your husband. You don't talk to me like that. Watch your tongue. This is my mother you're talking about here. You can see that I'm carrying you into paradise. <laughs> All this will be yours. All you need is just give me a grandchild or grandchildren. Mama, hmm? all these things are eggs. So yeah. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Okay, Mama. <laughs> hey. Mama, welcome. You are still here. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> hmm. Uh, 
responsible. Mama, welcome. I was not expecting you. <laughs> and this is my friend's daughter, Rosie. You know, you know my friend, Mama Chima, the one that has nine children. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mama, I'm not looking for a housemaid, though. You are very stupid. Why would you call my son's new wife a maid? Why? Mama, wife. The wife that will give me grandchildren. I can't take this. Come back. And what is it now? Sit down. Sit down. Relax. This is the way to the kitchen. <laughs> there is room here. There is room here. There is room here. There is, there is room. There are rooms everywhere. Hey, you just choose the one you want to stay in. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> He's home. Mother brought in a new wife for you. I, I am not in support of it. Mama, but I was watching the other program before you came now. The program that has kept you from giving me my grandchildren? I was if it is with you before you came. Trained. Thank you, Mama. Hmm? Nobody needs to point you to a well-trained child. <laughs> well done. Thank you, Mama. Hey, where is that uh, fruitless tree? I don't know, Mama. Maybe she's in her room. She's in her room? Yes, Mama. She must be very stupid to leave the house trust for only you to do. Something I want to talk to you about. What is it? Babe, it's about your mother. 
I think it's high time she left. What has she done? Babe, since your mother came to this house, she has been tormenting me, babe. Your mother has been tormenting me. I am the one who stays in this house with her all day. So I know what I've been facing. Babe, she has to leave. I'm tired. Babe, please, calm down. Babe, your mother embarrassed me in front of my friend, Tina. Then today, she embarrassed me in front of my staff that came to the house to give me a report of how my company is going. Babe, your mother is choking me. I, I can't keep my cool. She has to leave. Hey, please. Easy. Calm down, okay? <sighs> Master, is your mother? He's sleeping. My friend, will you keep quiet? I heard his voice right now. Babe, please let me attend to her. No, baby, you're not going. Babe, she's my mother. She might be in distress. Babe, you're not going, right? Babe, please, let me just check on her. Maxwell! I'm coming. Maxwell, come back here! Baby, wait, don't worry, I'm coming, okay? Get down. Why? You've been lying on this bed for years without any seed. Let some other person do the job you couldn't do. What, what job? Want me to explain the job? The job of carrying a baby. Mm -hmm. Mama. Mama, Come down. Fine, fine. Be in the guest room. Of this now, Shut up. Mama, this is not right. Why are you doing this? What do you know that is right? It's me that your mother will tell you what is right and what is not right. Come on, wait. Come on, you stay. Please. Mm. Mm. Mama, stop now. Eh, stop eh. this now. I don't like it. I understand. Just. Mm. I can't take this anymore. I can't take this anymore.
Maximum. So you slept in the room with this girl? What? I did it. No. No, it's not what you think. Stop. <sighs> Babe, it's not what you think now. Please wait. It's not what you think. Okay, please, 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 please now. Alone. Where are you going to now? Please, please, don't do this, please. Please, this is none of your business. I need to leave. Baby, you hurt yourself out there. Maxwell, leave her. This is what you should have done a long time ago. Yeah? Very a good girl. Come yeah. on. Yeah, go. Yeah? Go, please. Go and look for another family to have slept with your barriers. Mom! What? What? Babe, babe, please, babe, please, babe! Babe, please. Hello? Maxwell, how far did you find her? Ah, oh, no, bro. Look, I have searched everywhere I could, but she's nowhere to be found. I don't know what else to do. I'm tired. Wow. So, what are you going to do now? Wait, 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 wait. Let me call you back. yourself. Hmm? You are drunk. Okay, it's easy. Maxwell, I have something to tell you. 
is I am pregnant. I'm pregnant for you. Why? Why are you treating me so badly? Am I not living according to your wish? My husband was a useless man. He couldn't get me pregnant. I had to speak with a native doctor that got me pregnant for my husband. And a useless man. Vera couldn't conceive. I don't need to. I know why she has not conceived. Because she aborted all the babies in her womb. Hmm. Mama, what if I tell you I am the problem? <laughs> That's not true. You got Rosie pregnant, right? Mama, I am the problem here. Though we are still believing in God that someday everything will be all right. I'm under medication. Maxwell, you can never be the problem. Your father was fertile. So was your grandfather. Your grandfather married three wives and each gave him 
eight children. So you see, you came from a fertile lineage. Mm -hmm. Mama, I had an accident during my university days. I left it unattended to. I enjoyed my growing. Vera knows about it. And she decided to stay with me till the end of time so that we can have this thing treated and all. But you came from nowhere and changed our way. Keep quiet. It's not true. Okay, if what you're saying is true, why didn't you tell me your mother? Mama, you don't expect me to go about telling people that I cannot impregnate my wife. But you got Rosie pregnant. Hmm? Mama, I did not impregnate her. Let Rosie here tell us who impregnated her, not me. <clears throat> Rosie, he got you pregnant, right? is your food. Henceforth, this is where you will be eating. I don't want you to eat on the dining table again. Understood? But madam, this is outside the house. Are you, are you stupid? Eh? Does any member of your family live in a beautiful house like this? Eh? I said I do not want you to eat on my dining and you're asking me stupid questions. Who do you think you are? I can eat in the kitchen. Try it! Rosie, try it! And watch me send you out of my house. Sorry. It's yours. Sorry for yourself. <laughs> Maxwell! Maxwell! What is this doing in this house? 
I should be asking you. Why are you asking me? You should be asking me. I found it in your pocket. My pocket? How? You're asking me. Maxwell. <clears throat> Babe, take it easy. What are you talking about? Maxwell, what is this doing in your pocket? I don't know how I come about this. You liar! So what's it doing in your pocket? How did it come here? Can I see it? For what? For what? Huh? Huh? Babe, I don't huh? know. This is not mine. I don't know who was it. Maxwell. Condom. Oga. 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 Oga, please. There's something I would like to tell you, please. Please, please, I'm in a hurry. Talk to your madam, okay? Sir, please, it's very, very important. Yeah? Rose, please, please, okay? Talk to your madam. I'm in a haste. I'll see you when I come back, okay? Okay. All right. Please, ma. I want to plead you make you allow me to travel. I miss seeing my mother and my siblings. Hey, please, Ma. Sit down here now. Ma, what is it? Eh? Why are you disturbing me? What? I want to go see my mother and my siblings, please. I'm eh? sick. You miss please. home? Please. You are you stupid? Don't I pay your salary? So who are you not to want to make me look wicked? Eh? I'm homesick. My friend, get out! Please, Ma. Get out! I said, get out! I'm sick. Good job. Rosie! Ma, I'm coming! Rosie, why is this place dirty? Clean it before going to clean the living room. Ma. Oh, so you are calling me a liar? No, ma, I'm just trying to tell you that. No, you're just trying to do what? Eh? If I come back to this kitchen and this place, look this messy, I will have your head hanging up. Idiot, stupid. Rosie! Rose!
Babe. Yeah? I need your phone. I need to send an email to the HR. Um, okay. Um, it's on top of the bed. Bed? Yeah. Oh, okay. See anything? Back soon. Okay. Okay. Make sure you come back early, okay? Of course. How do I look? You look good. Thank you. Okay, all right. I've heard you. All right, thanks for reaching out, sir. Okay. All right. with the special arrangements well you know you're very special to me mm -hmm. so i decided to make dinner special wow i made your favorite meal ah yeah so mm -hmm. would you like to eat the food of the dining first or the one in front of you only a fool will see these and go for that <laughs> <laughs> I would like to eat this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. <laughs> Why did you stop? Because he might come out. Oh, I sent Harry for the weekend. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, we said no. Why don't you join us here on the dining? Babe, hmm? don't worry, she has eaten. Stop disturbing okay. yourself. Okay. Thank you. Don't dish my. Babe, what is it? What is this? Why, is, why more pepper and salt in this food? Pepper! No, no, I, I made this food myself. You know what? I'm no longer interested. You want to kill me? Ah, babe, no, you now. Want, just eat your food. No, babe, I made this food myself.
Rosie. 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 Ma. Ma, I'm coming. Mama, there's no milk in this tea. Not even bread. Please, now, even if it's one slice of bread, I can manage it, ma. Please. I can manage it. Please. Just oh. open myself. Hi. Sorry. No milk, I mean. Yes, ma. No bread. Okay. Chai. <laughs> in your father's house, can any member of your family afford tea? Yeah, baby. The phone is ringing. Who is that? Mm, unknown number. Ignore it. Okay. Baby. What's up? You've not been taking your calls. Anyways, I want to let you know that I'm pregnant. What? Maxwell! Maxwell! Yes? Maxwell! So you dared cheat on me to the point of getting another woman pregnant? Me cheat on you? How? Maxwell! You cheated on me and you got another woman pregnant! Me? Oh! Me? Oh! Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? Maxwell. Baby, I didn't cheat on you. What are Maxwell. you doing? Stop Maxwell. this! Maxwell. What are you doing? Maxwell. I didn't cheat on you. After everything we've been through, Maxwell, you cheated on me. You got to know I'm pregnant. I didn't okay. do anything. Oh, I didn't cheat on you. Men has come. You will hear from my lawyer. I promise you. You will hear from my lawyer. What are you talking about? You will hear from my lawyer. Maxwell. Babe, I'm confused. What are you saying? Okay, confusion will be your portion soon. You hear from my lawyer. Don't huh? worry. You are confused, Abby. I didn't cheat on you. I did not cheat on you. What are you saying? Okay. Babe, babe, stop this. I stop swear this you will hear from my lawyer. Maxwell! Stop! Maxwell! Stop now. What are you Please, saying? I will deck you if you, if you, if you touch me. from me. For you, sir, from my client, Mrs. Vera, and you need to sign this, sir. Okay. I'd like to take my leave now. Yeah, Tina. Do you know, I just received 
give us papers from there. What? I have no idea she did that. I mean, what have I done to deserve this? Don't sign the divorce paper yet. I'll speak to her, please. All right, okay, please, do that. All right. Thank you. Vera, please, can you calm down? Let's hear his own side of the story. Okay, Mr. Tony, we can proceed. Maxwell, I think we need to speak to this same girl and know what is going on. Okay. Can I have her number, please? Spoken to her since after Vera picked her call. No, I. Hey, liar! You are a liar! Both of you have been talking. In fact, I don't even care. Just send the damn papers! Vera, calm down and listen. You're being too forward. Hey, 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 who is this one? Have you ever been married before? Eh? What gave you the audacity to talk when my people are talking? Is it because I brought you here? Vera, can you calm down? That's your pregnant mistress. Cheat. Vera. Vera. Vera, why did you do that? Where did you get this wickedness from? I used to know you from childhood. I know how lovely your parents and siblings are. Why would she serve everybody before saving me? Are you stupid? Is that your phone ringing? Can I have your phone, please? No need, sir. It's been me all along. What? what? I sent those text messages to his phone. I applied those lipstick stains to his shirts. I put those condoms in his pocket. I am responsible for the excess salt and pepper in his food. There's no pregnant woman anywhere. I disguised my voice. I made that call myself. Hey! I just knew I needed to teach her some lessons. She has been nothing but a nightmare to me. She's too wicked. And I do not regret anything at all. Hey! Please try it. I swear to God, if you try it, I would break your bones. I pleaded with my madam to please allow me to go see my mother who was requesting to see me. But she refused and slapped me in the process. 
and now my mother is dead. She raises her hand on me over stupid reasons. I pleaded with her to allow me to go see my mother while she's still alive, but she refused. So I decided to destroy her home and I do not regret it at all. I, I, I had a second thought because of Mr. Maxwell here. He's a good man and he has been suffering since. If not for that, I have determined to have to have my own pound of flesh and more from my madam. You see, it is very, very ideal to treat your domestic staff right. We are created by the same God, we have the same flesh, and we are equal in the sight of God. Vera. When are you coming to my house to pick up your stuff? And thanks for reminding me, God will give me my own husband soon. Um, can I have the phone, please? I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry for everything. Please forgive me. Look, I, I am also sorry the way my wife treated you. I promise you I will compensate you for this. You will hear from me. Please, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm sorry for everything that I put you through. Please. It's okay. I'm sorry too. I have to leave now. I'm sorry that I accused you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry too. I'm sure. I'm sorry. Vera, I don't like the way you spoke to your friend, Tim. You also need to apologize to her. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, Tim. I'll be leaving now. Thank you very much. Thank you. When are you getting married? When are you getting married? Uh-uh. My mom will just let me rest. Hello, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir, I'm, I'm waiting. Okay. Ah. Hmm. I just wish you would invite me over this weekend. Hey, babe. Babe, hey, what's up? I'm cool. I, I just closed from, the, from work and I'm waiting for my cab. Okay. So you're coming over today? Oh, you promised me this weekend. Remember? Um, uh, yeah, but I still... You still what? Look, since we started dating, it's been one excuse or the other. No time for us. Tell me how this relationship will grow. Okay. Okay, fine. Okay, I'll come. When? Um, today. Today, um, I'll just go home, pick up some few things and I'll come. Yeah. Okay, why is the cabman not there yet? I don't know. I don't know why he's not here. I think I should just call him, okay, baby? I love you. Bye. Okay, where are you now? Hi. Oh, the cab is here. What kept you? What kept you? Open your car.
Uh, madam, I'm a novice here. Traffic too much for us. No, oh, Allah, just go. Thank you, ma. Hi, babe. Hi, darling. Where are you? Babe, I'm sorry. I'll be a little bit late. My cab just got here. All right. See you soon. Okay, no problem. All right, baby. Um, Oga. Ma. If you if you take me home now, I'll just pick some of my things. You take me somewhere. Okay, ma. No All problem, right. ma. Thank you. I hope he won't break my heart. I'm scared. So when will you be moving him with him? Mom, mm. we've talked about this thing before, eh? See, I'm even on my way to his house for the weekend. I didn't want to go, but I just had to. Okay, if you say so. Hope you are okay. Yes, I'm fine. Nice, Dad. He's fine. Mm. Mom, take care of yourself. I have to go. All right. Bye. Hello, babe. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm on my way already. I just left my house. Okay, babe. Thank you. See you. All right, thank you. Hey, oh. babe. Babe, you're finally here. Yes. So, what kept you so long? Traffic. Mm. Um, so, what have you been up to? Uh, babe, um, that is the way to the room. So, I think uh, you should go drop your things so that you can come back and make us food. I'm starving. Babe, go now, please. Yes. I... That there. Um this way, okay. 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 I will join you. All right. He couldn't even stand up from his seat to give me a hug. He's too full of himself. I hope I can cope. Should I be worried? Oh no. I think I should just let it slide. Or maybe he was just so hungry to know that. He should have at least welcomed me warmly. Uh -uh. I'm not just all of me around, knowing I am visiting for the first time. At least that is what reasonable men should do, right? Tired. I came here immediately. I closed from work. Please, why? Why? I promise why? I'm going to make it up to you tomorrow. Please. It's a lie. I knew it. I said I knew it. I knew you are cheating on me. Of course not. But if you are not cheating on me, so why are you refusing me from making love to you? Okay, fine. Please, let's make love. I don't want to. Huh? Mm.
But since I've been knocked shot, <laughs> the sex is good. Babe, are you not done? Babe, I'm almost through, okay? Be out soon! All right, babe, I'm waiting fast, fast, I'm fast, fast, fast. Sorry. Oh. Okay, so. Oh, yeah. the water now? Oh, maybe I'm sorry, I forgot. Go and bring water. Go and bring water. I like water. This, 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 this girl, this girl. Ah. You will bring food. Just leave food. Bring, drop food. You won't bring water. Nothing. I'm sorry. Ah. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. How many meats, how many pieces of meat am I seeing here? Two. How can you serve me two pieces of meat? And it's not like I, I, I did not give you the money. Oh. Eh? Uh, I gave you the money to cook. My brother will go and get me babe, meat. It's not like that now. Eh? It's not like that. Then it's like how? How? Go and get me meat. I gave you the money, so I should eat my money. I may go and bring me meat. Uh -huh. It's not like somebody did not work for money. I work for my money, so I should I should, I should eat my money. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> now you are talking. You see, I am not teaching you what they call table manners. Table manners. Eh? <laughs> now you are talking. Hmm. It's sweet, but there's enough magic inside. It's still okay. Maggie didn't say to me, you try. <laughs> This is football time. I need to watch this match. Wait, please now. I want to see the end of the movie. Ah, what do you want to use the end of the movie to do? Why are you like this? Ah. Wait, please stop disturbing me. I need to watch this match. Women are so, all, always troublesome. Well, hmm? what happened to the food in the kitchen? Oh, that. Uh, my friends came, so we ate it. You can go to the kitchen and make another one. There's no big deal in that. Babe, are you serious? Uh, you didn't even consider that I would want to eat too. I just wanted to pick up something from the office and the whole food is finished. What is there in going to the kitchen and make another food and stop nagging? Just do that and stop nagging. Babe, me, nagging. <sighs> Mm. 
Babe, do you like this program? This one. See, do you like. This guy is just a beast. But he's the only guy ready to date. Will he let her change? Useless bachelors. What was that about? What was what about? You and your friends making mess of the living room. Even even the kitchen is dirty. What is the problem with my friends again? Each time they come to this house, always problem, 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 problem. Don't you know, Tony? Babe, don't get me wrong. Okay, I have no problem with your friends coming here to drink, to eat. But I have a problem with the fact that two girls just ate and messed the whole place up. You keep saying this thing. You keep repeating the same thing. What is all this thing? You are just here arguing. I don't even know what you are talking about. Each time they come, you always say this. Stop nagging. Me nagging? For the fact that you do not consider me before you and your friends emptied the whole food in the kitchen. Now I have to sleep hungry. You guys just messed everywhere up. You know what? The problem here is that you are lazy. You just don't want to go out there and make another food for us to eat or for you to eat. But let me tell you, let me, let me tell you something. I don't care. Baby, me lazy? Of course you are lazy. So what will it take you just to go and cook? No, see, let me tell you. I don't want my friends to hear this nonsense you are talking about. I don't want them to hear. So let it die here. Are your friends still around? Eh? They are still around. In fact, of course, they are in the guest room. So, if you know what is good for you now, you sleep. Because you are waking up early, very early, to make breakfast for everybody. What is this? <laughs> God. God, I just wish I can do this. At least just to please my mom. The pressure is too much. She wants me to get married at all costs. I have to 
pack my bags and leave. I'd rather remain single than continue like this. Well, how do I explain to my mom? Because of what happened last night, okay, you know what? Just go in there, keep your bag, then we'll talk about it later. Why are you so selfish? Why? I do the cleaning, I do the washing, I do everything in this house. You cannot even assist me. You bring your friends, you mess everywhere up. Your friends even come to the house without you telling me first. I'm tired. I'm done. If you dare touch me, if you touch me. Babe. Babe. Rubbish. No, what kind of rubbish is this? No, no. Please now. Please what? Please what? Why are you being like this? Doing what? I mean, please go Vera, away. Please, Vera, please, please. Leave me now. alone. Vera! Are you high? Vera! To be honest with you, um, everything that Vera said here is right. I'm your friend, I'll tell you the truth. Women like to be involved in everything that goes on in the house. Remember when I told you last night that we should clean this place up, put everything in order, and you said we should leave it that it's our responsibility. You see, um, now look at where it has gotten you to. Um, guy, you need to change your ways. Women like to be respected. Let her know everything that goes on in the home. Do you know if you had told her that I'm coming, she would have prepared for this visit? You need to find a way to sort this out. Um, Maxwell, um, find a way to handle this. I'll be going. Um, I told my woman I'll be coming home before 9 a.m. And look at the time. It's almost time. So I have to leave you now. Try, Try your best. Uh, reach out to her. Try to resolve this. I have to go and see my woman. Okay, um, take good care of herself. Oh, Tony, you are going. Ah! Hi,
Who is that person? Who the heck is that? Who are you? Hello? 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 Who the hell are you? Oh, I see you are Maxwell's wife. The one that made him abandon his pregnant girlfriend all this way. What? My friend, will you get out of this house before I beat you blue black? What's going on here? Oh, baby, Junior and I have missed you so much. No, 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 no. I am not responsible for that thing you are carrying there. What is it? Maxwell, this pregnancy belongs to you. When you were telling me to raise my legs or you didn't know. It was just once we had it. How come about this? <laughs> I didn't know one has to do it a hundred times before you could resort to pregnancy. What do you want? You cannot stay here. You cannot come in here. This is my matrimonial home. <sighs> Baby, just go there and get my bags, please. I wish someone should show me my room. This? Oh, maybe I should take this. <laughs> Baby, I'm, I've come to stay, okay? <laughs> Get my lunch to eat. And what will Rosie be doing? Hmm? My friend, will you take your cheating set out of my sight? You are going to be on empty stomach because that is how you are going to be henceforth. Baby, I'm sorry now. Oh, you are really stepping on my nerves. Oh, my darling Maxwell, it's ready. Let me set this for you, okay? <laughs> Let me just enjoy myself. I don't even care. I don't have time for anybody. Vera, you deserve so much better than Maxwell. Why do you even want to win him back? Dina, what do you have me do? What do you have me do? I'm still in love with him. <laughs> Despite all this infidelity, I don't want my marriage to collapse. So what now? I don't know. What? I you want to keep know. being here receiving this nonsense? I beg. I can see you are crazy. Now let you know I'm crazier than you. Vera, turn off this music. Let me see her turn it on. I see if I will make a mistake. I carry this thing in a womb. Tina, please. Oh, please. You caused all these things. You caused it. This is how she has been misbehaving in my own house. Are you to tell me what to do? Eh? Nobody can threaten my unborn son in his father's house. Hey, oh my hey, God! Tina, oh please God. stop! Don't get her injured! Rosie, or whatever you call yourself, you must avail yourself for a DNA. Mm? And who are you to tell me that? Are you my baby dad? Ah! Tina! Tina, please leave her alone. Leave her alone, please.
babe. Babe, please open the door. Let's talk. Go away. Go away. Babe, please forgive me. I just need to talk to you, please. Go away. Go away. I don't want to talk to you. Can I uh, please come in to change my clothes? Babe, I just need to change my clothes, please.
<laughs> Were you able to get your husband's consent? Yes. Yes, I did. So much. Because I have some voice outside, so in case she doesn't want to show the voice, I'll bring her out by force. Are you sure that is a good idea? Uh -uh. Fine, to work now. I don't trust you. Speaking of her, I haven't seen her since I woke up. Ah. Where is Rosie? I don't know. Dear Maxwell, my pregnancy is not yours. I am sorry for trying to spoil your home. I was just looking for a man to pin the pregnancy on. And that's why I seduced you into sleeping with me. And the contract is not real. It is one of my plans to pin the pregnancy on someone. I am sorry. I am gone for good. Because I know the DNA test results will be negative. I am sorry. To do what I did just to save the company from that person. How are you? I'm good. You look different today. Oh, really? Thank you. Um, I've been reading and learning corpus therapy, and I believe it's going to help us. I... Maybe. If so. Alright. While I wait here. Okay.
Healing your relationship requires trust, understanding, and open communication. Are you ready to work? Yes. <clears throat> yes, I am willing to try. Okay. Vera, what were the things you saw in him that made you fall in love with him? Well, his voice, his eyes, and his smile. Do you still see those things in him? Um, yeah, but to an extent. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I swear to you, darling, I was desperate. I didn't know what I was doing. Look, I have to do this for the sake of the company. Look, you know I would never hurt you intentionally, right? I was beginning to doubt that. Oh, baby, why would you cheat on me after everything that we've been through? I am sorry, darling, and I promise you this will never repeat itself again. Are you sure? I have never been this sure in my life. Come here. So tell me, how do you feel after the heartfelt conversation? I feel light. Same. Cool. All right. Um, the next thing for you both to do is to visit the same site you used to visit when you were newly in love. Okay. <laughs> I'm really happy for you both. Thank you. Sorry for everything I have done to you. The pain I've caused you, I'm sorry. I really want to make this thing work. Hmm? <sighs> Babe. Mm -hmm. I know that it's not been easy, but I believe in the power of forgiveness and second chances. Do you believe in it too? Mm. And I believe we can fight for our marriage to work. Do you believe it too? <laughs> I love you, Maxwell, and I promise to walk towards trusting you every day. And I love you, Vera. Look, I promise you, I will not take this forgiveness for granted. I promise to love you for the rest of my life.
Hi. Ugh. <sighs> So how was work? Well, work was fine today. So, what about you? Well, um, I'm okay. I was just a little bit bored. I finished a story, and I'm about to start another one. Whoa. <laughs> That's good. No, look, look, look. Talking about being bored today, why don't we go out tonight? Yes! So, that sounds beautiful. Mm -hmm. Um. Club! Please, we're not going to the club, please. I feel like clubbing. Club. Hey, look, look, look. It's not like club is not a bad thing, you know. I want club. It's good. But just that I wouldn't want some stupid men to start drooling at my woman. <laughs> <laughs> Having said that, mm -hmm. dinner 
is served. Mm -hmm. So, would you want to eat the food on the dining? Or do you want to eat this food in front of you? <laughs> but I'm not stupid. <laughs> Look, the food at the dining can wait. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh my god. Hi. Vera. Hi, you look good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Welcome. Thank you. Oh my god. Dude. Imagine. I'm good. I'm fine. Thank you. No sense. She's not even that beautiful. I'm not beautiful enough. Take a look at now, Maxwell. Eh? Have you not seen all those things? No sense. Idiots. <sighs> Just because of that breast, that bulldozer breast. Don't worry, I'll catch you. Idiots. <sighs> Maxwell, you're mine, don't worry. <laughs> you're mine, I'm mine forever. <laughs> Tell me that I have not been behaving like a man or what? Why did you not tell me you'd be walking late last night? Why? Vera, my phone was down. What did you just call me? Oh, babe. Hmm. And what about the office phone? Rather, office line. Look, babe. I need to go to the office. I'm running late. Look, we'll discuss about this when I come back. Maswell, are you cheating on me? I'll see you when I come back. Maswell! Home. I'll see you, okay? Of this whole situation. 
Maxwell has turned opposite of the man I married. I swear. The worst part of it is that he's no longer active in bed. How do you mean? He will climb and jump down almost immediately. I am so starved. B, you have to be calm at this point in your marriage. None is bed of roses. Henceforth, have a conversation and talk about it diplomatically. Who knows he could be going through a lot or something. <sighs> Okay, babe. Thank you. I feel a lot more better talking to you about it. Okay? Thanks. What is this now? What is this? Ah, on his plates now. No! Look, I am your husband. You don't serve me food like some dogs out there. Ah, what have I done now? What do you have done? Okay, wait, wait, wait. What happened to the fancy dish in this house? Honey, I, I'm, I'm saving them for special saving occasions. Saving them for what special occasion? What special occasion? You're so unbelievable. I can't eat this thing. What now. have I done? No, now, no, now. I can't. I can't. Eh? I don't know if you, are you eating the food or you're eating the plate? Um, um, Mr. Maxwell. Yeah, Rosie, how are you? I'm good. Um, I overheard you fighting with your wife about not treating you right. And if you need someone to do that for you, I think I can. I can do that for you. Yes, Mr. Maxwell. I think Maxwell is cheating on me. Please don't say that. The Maxwell I know hmm? will never cheat on you. Mm -hmm. Are you taking sides? No, I'm only saying you should get your claims right. Don't go accusing him without being sure. It will jeopardize a piece of your home. When I and Maxwell were dating, Maxwell cannot go a day without making love to me. But these days, he can't even perform his marital duty. I still maintain you check properly, okay? Or check if there is something you're not doing right. That's my advice for you.
Hello? Hello, Tina. Please, please, can you come to my house right now? Please. You're crying. What is wrong? Please, just come. Please, just come. Just come to my house right now. Okay, I'll be there very soon. <laughs> What's up now? Man, I'm good. I don't even know if this is the right word for me to say now. What's the problem? Anything the matter? No, nothing. So the house work. Maxwell, talk to me. I'm your best friend. Do you remember the lady I told you from Port Harcourt? Mm, the lady for Embrace um, Construction? Yes. Her name is V. Do you know she came to the office today to explain to me why she was there when I walked in and said all sorts of things to her. She got angry and left. So I don't even know if she's coming back or not. And Tony, why she was... I, I, I had to... And you did what? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't hit her. I only caught security on her. Maxwell, you caught security on your wife. You caught security on your wife? And what are you doing here? You need to go home right now and apologize to her. You need to go home right now and apologize to her. Based on it. 
us. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maxwell, you asked us to keep it to, to throw me out of your office. You are a cheat. A chronic one at that. A chronic cheat. <laughs> I am sorry. Look, I am sorry. Just forgive me, okay? I'm sorry. No, you are not sorry. Maxo, you are not sorry. You asked us to give it to draw me out of your office. Maxo, me. Me, Vera, me, your wife. Maxwell. Okay. Please. Please, darling. Please, I'm sorry. Look, I promise you, this won't repeat itself again. I'm sorry. There's no food here. Oh, Maxwell, I'm sorry. I do not have the ginger to cook today. And you didn't bother telling me so that I can wake up earlier to make food by myself. Uh -uh. I said I'm tired. I'm tired. Why are you being so unreasonable? Oh, oh, me? Unreasonable? Yes. I get it. <sighs> Unreasonable, right? Did you, did you have a bad night? <sighs> oh. Hello, Mr. Maxwell. <laughs> Hi, good morning, Rosie. How good are morning. you? Good morning. Good. Um, you know, I know how important breakfast is, so I had to wake up early to make this for you. Huh. Have it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Eh? Maxwell, it's wrong to turn down the kind gesture of a caring neighbor. Please. Hmm? Please have it. Don't say no. Please. All right. Thank you very much, okay? You're welcome. Yeah, Enjoy thanks. yourself. All right. You too. Have a nice day. Oh, yeah. You too. Honey, uh, please stand up. There's something I want us to talk about. What is it? Darling, can't it wait till tomorrow? Look, I'm tired. I need to rest. Please. Babe. Uh, Hey! Hey! Honey! 
Baby, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Let's go. Let's go. Baby, baby, baby. What is this now? Why are you putting on this? This clothes now. What is it? Honey, please. Go in and change into something hotter. Uh-uh. You don't like what I'm wearing. I'm looking very hot now. Okay, you know what? You know what? See my shoe. Eh? Honey? See, I had to wear this jacket. You know the event centers are always very cold. Eh? Please, let's go. Honey, please, 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 please. You can't follow me like this, please. Go back in and change into something better. Okay, wait, wait. Let me wear something hotter for you. Hmm? Give me seven minutes. It's not only seven minutes. One hour. Hello, honey. Hello, babe. Did you just finish dressing up now? Yes. Did you drive to buy fuel? Because I cannot see your car parked here. I'm not driving into the location right now. And I'm even late. You've gone? Yes. Please just go back into the house and forget about this particular location. <laughs> Hello? off like that because you were going to make me Ha, Maxwell! You asked me to go and change my dress only for you to run off like that. You went to that event with a side chick. Right? Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Is this what you changed into? Eh? Uh -huh. What's wrong with it? Oh What's wrong with this now? I'm hotter than fire. Oh my God. What kind of, what kind of woman are you? What is this? What are you putting on? What is this? What happened to your fashion sense? Ah, am I not hot? Look, babe. You need deliverance. Maxwell! You see? Maxwell! Vera, please calm down and stop crying. Did he hit you? No, he did not. I can't believe that Maxwell is cheating on me. After all, I've sacrificed for him. <laughs> look, I need to be honest with you. Your look these days is becoming unbearable. Take a look at this dress. See, it's even torn. You need to go back to how you used to be. Why should I dress to kill? I am not married, so who am I impressing? What about your husband? <laughs> Maxwell and I, we are stalked forever. We are married, so we should get used to seeing each other naturally. There's nothing to impress, nothing. Ah. <laughs> Tina. I had a miscarriage. I have not gotten out of the trauma. I feel like it's useless to dress to kill. I feel that they why. Calm down, it's okay. Calm down. Calm down, everything's going to be fine. 
<laughs> Your friend accused me of cheating and she left. I'm sorry, but are you truly cheating on her? No, of course. Why? Then what went wrong? <sighs> Honestly, Tina, you see, um, I'm fed up with this marriage with Vera. This is not the same woman I dated for two years before getting married to her a few months ago. I'm confused. Okay, did you talk to her about it? Communications matters, you know? Do you even know she's depressed? She hasn't even gotten over the miscarriage, Maxwell. I found out yesterday. She figures there's no need in pressing anyone, not even you, her husband. She also sees herself as a total failure. Wait, 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 wait. Is she at your place? In that case, I need to see her. I need to talk to her. Okay. Give me a few minutes. Let me get something. Come in. All right. talking to you but you wouldn't listen. When? Those late nights that I tried waking you up that I have something to say. You keep telling me that you're tired from work stress. Darling, I am sorry. Please forgive me. You know I promise you we will work this out. Or we'll be seeing a counselor, okay? Sorry. Sorry. Come. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tina, thank you very much. Okay. You're welcome. 